Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you going today? Uh, in today's recording, you might hear some background construction noise, and that's because they're installing solar panels on the top of C Block, which is awesome because we'll be more eco friendly. Um, so, today we're going to continue on with, by looking at other geometric proofs. Now, we're going to look at example five. Um, You'll notice how some of the notations are a little bit weird or different only because these examples and the questions that accompany these examples come from a different textbook, that's all. But the process, the logic is pretty much the same as our previous examples as well. So relying on uh, the alternate angles or the co-interior angles uh, rules or the sum of triangles rules and isosceles triangles, etc. So, for ex in example 5, it says here, establish a relationship between X and Y. So, this word relationship in this textbook is demonstrated by this symbol, a circle with two arrows going left and right, and then you have the X and Y underneath. So, that's what, it, that's what this symbol means, this circle with the arrows means it just means to create a relationship between the two variables x and y so in your diagram you can find x and y so x is this left corner and y is also in this corner here we're trying to find well how can we is there a relationship between them are they equal do they add up to 180 or some other special pattern um You'll see here in this textbook that they have this notation down here. So you'll see that there's an arrow on top of X and then an arrow on top of Y and then an arrow with blank space. So the idea of this textbook is that they want you to fill in this incomplete proof or incomplete reasoning. So they're saying that step one, find a relationship between X and something using isosceles triangle. Then step two, find a relationship between Y and something using isosceles triangle. And then step three, find a relationship between two things using some reasoning. And then step four, lastly, because of that reasoning, we can therefore establish a relationship between X and Y. So we, I'm not going to set it out like this old textbook way because I don't like it and that's not what we could do on the exam anyway but the idea behind the logic of step one two three four should hold for us as well so step one look at where x is it's a it's in a triangle right so this is the triangle of x in particular it's an isosceles triangle because we can see the two dashes there indicating that these two sides are the same so if this is an isosceles triangle, what do we know about the two angles at the bottom of the isosceles triangle? Well, then these angles must be the same. So our first statement to establish a relationship is that X is equal to the angle A. Why? Because of the isosceles triangle relationship. So you write down your statement, you observe that the two angles here are the same because of isosceles triangle and you explain by drawing in a symbol next step two look at the triangle involving y so the triangle on the right hand side again you can see it's an isosceles triangle because on the two sides they've got the dashes there so those dashes indicate those two sides are the same which means it's an isosceles triangle so that tells us that y must be equal to n because angles at the bottom of the corners of the isosceles triangles are the same so then, okay, we need, not, we need a relationship between A and N so that we can establish a relationship between X and Y. So look at the lines which N lies on. So N lies on this line and that line. Look at the lines which A lies on, which is this line and this line here, right? These line, this line there is the same. So you can see here that angle N and angle A right because of this arrow there that indicates that these two lines are parallel so we could use the f rule to show that a and n are the same angles so a equals n y because of the uh, corresponding angle rule the f rule 
Um, and because x is a and y is n, and that a equals n, therefore we can conclude that x equals y. So I much prefer this setting out in the highlighted yellow box because that's what's going to be expected on the exam. That being said, in your practice booklet this time today, you'll notice the notation is like this crossed out notation. So it, it essentially means the same thing, but it presents much nicer in the highlighted yellow box format.